Hello guys, welcome back. This is Edison Gotan and of course uh, with me today is Cyrus. This is Tech and Ed Tech Talks. Ayan, Cyrus. Hey. Magandang araw sa iyo. Hello, hello. Kamusta? Kamusta kayo? Kamusta kayo, mga guys? So, yes. Medyo madami-dami yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon at excited din ako dahil um sipin mo kahit one year o na nag-lockdown because of this pandemic eh hindi pa rin tumigil talaga ang mga uh, brands ng mga tech na gumawa at mag-innovate pa rin talaga. Correct ka dyan, partner. Siyempre, innovation must go on. And, siyempre, kakatapos lamang last week, no, ng uh, Consumer Electronics yes. Show. And that's basically one of the biggest exhibition of latest tech for consumers mm-hmm. in the yeah. world. Siyempre, laging ano yan, no, ginaganap yun every January. Okay. And, for the first time in history, CES is done purely online. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And syempre, inabangan natin yan, no? Yeah. Uh, madaling araw lagi dito sa Pilipinas. Syempre, US time mm-hmm. sila. So, most of the keynotes are happening in the middle of the night here in the Philippines. Syempre. Pero syempre, hindi tayo natulog para lamang ihatid sa inyo ano bang bago this 2021. Mm-hmm. Tama. Tama yun. Yan. And um, hopefully, um, soon, uh, when it's uh, safe to... Go out without wearing a face mask and face shield. Uh, hopefully, um, makapunta tayo dun sa CES. <laughs> yes. Actually, sa Vegas yun. So, talagang masarap pumunta dun. Yeah. Well, uh, cross fingers pa. <laughs> yes. Pero, syempre, simulan natin, no? Uh, si- Ang dami kasing tech na nilo-launch lagi every year sa CES. Mm-hmm. Pero, Ang hindi nawawala lagi sa mga launch is uh, we're talking about mga TV. Yes, yes. Diba? Isa, isa yan sa number one product for consumer, syempre. Mm-hmm. Lahat ng bahay may TV, yes. diba? Ba- may TV bahay mo, mm-hmm. right? Akin din, may yeah. TV din. Anywhere you go, especially sa mga bahay sa mga sa ating mga Pilipino, mm-hmm. no? laging may TV Tama. yan. And I think based on record, 90% of the household in the Philippines ay merong television. Siyempre, hindi hindi mawawala 'yan dahil uh, naging ano na naging ano ng Pilipino 'yan, entertainment um gadget 'yan ng uh, halos lahat exactly. ng Pilipino. Exactly. Pero siyempre, ang mga TV natin nagkakaiba-iba 'yan, no? Depende sa quality ng picture, yes. yung iba smart TV, yung iba normal mm-hmm, lang. Mm-hmm. Siyempre, meron pa rin mga naka-analog dito sa Philippines. Yeah. Uh, until the next few mm-hmm. years, siyempre, buhay pa yung analog digital uh, analog broadcast natin. Mm-hmm. And we're just in the transition period to digital. Yes. But, this CES, isa sa mga notable na pinopromote ng mga brands, mm-hmm. no? Is yung 8K na TV. Okay. Imagine, 8K in 2021. I think we're hearing about 8K for the past few years. Yes. No? Uh, it's not something new. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Diba? Nagsimula tayo HD. Yep. Diba? Tapos, uh, nauso yung 4K for the past few years. Well, yeah, Pero ngayon, yeah, yeah, 4K. 4K. Tapos, ngayon, we're talking about 8K na. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the brands, no, almost all mm-hmm. of them, are actually trying to make the 8K TV cheaper. Mm, okay. And that's what they're telling us at CES, no? Especially uh the likes of TCL and LG, which is actually okay yung mga television nila, no? Uh, quality-wise, mm-hmm. performance-wise. Uh, but it's clearly, ano, uh, uh, they're actually telling us that yeah, we're actually making all our 8K TV more consumer friendly by lowering down the cost. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And not just that. Yeah. Uh I think it was uh mentioned by uh PCL sa kanilang kin- ano sa kanilang uh, CES uh show mm-hmm. no na some of their TV models even includes the latest Android TV. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Na ngayon, no? we're talking about making the TV smart. Dati ang 
Imagine mo dati ang pinag-uusapan lang natin is number one, yung size ng TV. Yeah. Um, ba? Diba? Ang ano ang usapan dati diyan is um dati, 'di ba? Most of most of us are using the CRT or the cathode ray tube, yung uh, talagang lumang TV talaga. And then after Correct. that, there goes the plasma TV which is like the um parang modern version lang of the CRT TV. Mabigat pa rin, kahit sabi mong flat screen yung plasma TV. And then, there goes the LCD, and then LED, and then now, like, OLED, QLED. Diba? Ang dami na eh. As in, paganda na ng paganda yung quality. Um, about, about sa quality, I'm not sure kasi <laughs> hindi na 2020 yung vision ko. So, I'm really not sure kung yung talagang mga quality na ginagawa ngayon ng mga brands uh, like 4K TV, 8K TV is um, like yung siguro yung quality niya is nakikita ng isang tao ng as in actual. Yun siguro yung gusto nila well, anuhin. Sabi nga natin, 4K is already enough for human eyes. Mm-hmm. Eh. Uh, kaya, kaya nga sinasabi natin parang it's really 8 yung 8K ba talaga is worth it? Kasi at the end of the day, in 2021, wala pa rin tayo masyadong 8K na content. Yes. <laughs> We're just, kumbaga, transitioning pa lang nga to 4K, medyo hirap pa. Tama. Because if you look at the cameras right mm-hmm. now, eh, masyadong mahal pa yung mga 8K cameras. And it's not yet in the hands of consumers. Yes. Well, except of course sa mga bagong cellphone natin, like the latest Samsung mm-hmm. and Apple, mm-hmm. they could shoot in 8K. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that's it. Uh, we're talking about just the cell phone. But what about the rest, diba? And of course, for mga movies, mm-hmm. no? Uh, it's expected naman the Hollywood yeah. movies would be shot in uh, 8K. That's 4K, no 4K, 8K. 4K, 8K. Pero, for, Pero sim- for me, he, hindi ko na, hindi ko siya nakikita eh. Well, maybe because of my eyes, diba? Kasi, I'm wearing corrective lens na rin. So I'm really not sure talaga siguro yung mga um movie movie fanatics diyan talaga or mga director or um filmmakers sila siguro yung nakakakita if anong resolution tinat yung movie na yon if it is a uh, 4K or 8K di ba Pero aside from those uh 4K and 8K no uh like si TCL mm-hmm. uh what they mentioned in their uh kumbaga sa show nila is they're introducing the OD0 mini LED. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Diba? In the case of Samsung, the micro LED. Yes. So, they they even make it yung OLED mm-hmm. before na sabi nga natin, pag tinignan mo nga yung mga TV na sample sa SM, mm-hmm. ang linaw na eh. Sobra. Diba? Pero right now, they're saying na mas greater contrast pa tong bago. Wow. Mas thinner, which, which is, yes, uh, most of the latest TVs are even thinner. Kasi, uso na ngayon yung, si Samsung, di ba, meron pa nga siyang yung, ano eh, TV na parang picture frame. Yes, yes. I think, same with LG yata, they have those kinds of TV na, mm-hmm. it doubles as a picture frame. And mm-hmm. actually, they included, meron silang uh, mga pictures na galing sa mga museum talaga na totoong mga artwork mm-hmm. that you could put there. So, talagang, it disguised itself as an art yeah. or a frame art rather than a TV, but you could switch it to a TV mm-hmm. mode. Tama, tama yun. Um, diba? Ganun kalayo so, ang narating ako, ng ano, mga televisions yeah. natin. Yes, and itong OD0 mini LED, I think what they're saying is, you, you, wala nang gap between the screen at yung pinaka-panel. Okay, so, so meaning it's like uh, be- vessel-less na, na TV. Yeah, yung optical distance nila, zero mm-hmm. na. Yun yung pinagmamalaki nila, no? Yeah. And of course, with malaking impact nun sa quality ng mm-hmm. ano, nakikita natin kasi nababawasan mo totally mga reflection yeah. and other unnecessary mm-hmm. na thing na nakikita natin sa TV. Yeah. And of course, sabi ko nga kanina, one thing that TCL is uh, talking about during their show is yung Google TV. And uh, yeah. I think it's one of the best thing that they have done because at the end of the day, uh, we're talking about content mm-hmm and uh, usability, mm-hmm. I think Google TV is doing a great job. Yeah. And I saw that demo, no? Medyo maganda naman yung, mm-hmm. ano, yung interface si Google TV. Yeah. 
Kasi compare it to ibang mga smart TV, I, I think uh, the second best would be Samsung. Samsung no? talaga. Oo, oh, oh, Samsung. For me, ah, that's my personal opinion. That's the second best UI in terms of uh, smart TV. Oh, same here, same here. But of course, mas maraming, ano eh, uh, most of the time, there would be more apps for Google. Uh, typical. Mm-hmm. ba? Diba? And of course, hindi nawawala lagi yung ano, Chromecast support. Of course. Which is very important for me. Mm-hmm. But anyway, Chromecast support is already available for a lot of TVs, whether it's uh, running Google OS or whatever mm-hmm. OS that they are actually uh, using behind the scene. No? Yeah. Actually, Sony is also using uh, Android TV before yes, pa. Yes, matagal na silang so it's Android. New. Yes, but this is the... Not really also the, for the first... Hindi naman first time ni TCL, eh, I think. No naman. But right now, they have an emphasis on that technology. Mm-hmm. Diba? And I think, uh, isa sa mga highlight din, no? Is yung integration with Google Duo. So, you could now easily transfer calls bato mo sa TV mo. Mm-hmm. Diba? And, uh, well, aside from that, they actually launch a phone. So, <laughs> ang daming nangyari. Ang dami. I mean... PCL phone, parang okay. But yes, they are doing, they're making a phone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like any any other brands out there, no? Mm-hmm. And, uh, hindi naman masama yung specs nila. In, in fact, uh, it's, it is actually good. Mm-hmm. Diba? Yan. It, well, at the end of the day, it's the same, uh, they're using the same Qualcomm Snapdragon na uh, 5G mm-hmm. as enabled. Yeah. So, nagkakatalo lang lag. Well, at the end of the day, it's still Android. So, mm-hmm. for me, uh, as long as it's Android, I'm good with mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, we only have two major OS lang naman yes. in the world. iOS and Android. iOS and Android. So, it's one of the two. So, I'm good with yes. it. And, aside from that, ano pa ba yung meron tayo sa TV? Uh, well, we, we saw some other uh, IoT products from this brand so TCL LG mm-hmm. uh, all gearing towards smart home diba like yung last ta- laptop yes, natin last time yeah. and uh, ang maganda dito it's becoming more ano eh uh, the way they are pushing those technology is very transparent to people parang you don't know that you are actually starting to build your smart home ecosystem. Mm-hmm. Tama, tama. Yan. And yan lagi lang, yan lagi yung inabang natin sa, ano eh, sa CES kasi at the end of the day, every year they always launch new mm-hmm. TV, new mm-hmm. size. Mas mali yes. now. It's normal. Yep. But seeing new products, no, that integrates or talk to each other, it's something new. Mm-hmm. So, yun yung mostly inabang natin for consumer. Yes. Uh, basically, diba? um, parang, ginagawa nila na parang uh, hindi alam ng mga consumers na deep brands are like um, slowly um, making them transform their house in, into a smart home or automated home by by buying uh, these um, high-tech TVs. Agree ako dyan. Paganda ng paganda rin yung technology na nilalagay nila sa TVs. Um, Maybe for for the eyes, hindi masyado masistrain na yung eyes mo na nanonood ka ng, ng TV. Well, tama ka naman dyan, no? Uh, one actually good reason. Kasi for the mm-hmm. eyes, uh, I think another good reason uh, is mas matipid siya sa koryente. Another one, which yeah. Is, hindi naman, hindi, for me, hindi naman siya ganong kalaking mm-hmm. difference, yeah. eh. Diba? I, I, I mean, compared to before na old school mm-hmm. na TV versus yung LED. Yeah. Malaki talaga yung jump. Sobra. Pero, from LED to OLED, mm-hmm. well, yung plasma to, ano, plasma to L, L- uh, during LC- that time, LCD, LCD pa, yeah. diba? LCD, yep. diba? Yung plasma, medyo mas matakaw pa sa kuryente. Mm-hmm. Pero mas malinaw sa that yes. time. Pero may, may parang fall, drawback lang si plasma, mm-hmm. diba? Parang, mas mabilis, masira mm-hmm. yung yeah. ano Tama. niya, screen. Tama. So, kaya medyo finish out kagad siya mm-hmm. kagad. And we came up with the OLED, di ba? Organic light emitting diode. Mm-hmm. Tapos, 
Nagkaroon na ng QLED hanggang sa pa-improve ng pa-improve. Yep. And now, CX21, 2021, mga 8K mini LED na or micro LED. Ay, ma- That's how they ma- call it. QNED. <laughs> Dami. <laughs> oh, and good thing with these TVs, no? if you have watched yung uh, kay Samsung, they have this TV where people with color efficiency. Uh, ginawa ni Samsung, they make it possible for them to see more colors, no? especially with uh, low vision. Ginawa nila is they had uh, this color inversion sa menu. So, it changed the graphic menu into contrast colors, leaving the video as is. Diba? Napaka-helpful. And they also make the op- yung remote control to easier to operate. And uh, imagine, bawat pindot mo, sasabihin niya sa'yo anong pinipindot mo. It's very important. And users can listen quickly uh, without looking at the remote. Kung anong pinipindot nila, they could memorize the location at the same time. And I think the best part here is the there's a capability to magnify the sign language, no? especially sa mga mga natin deaf na viewers. So, very helpful for a lot of people. And uh, I really like it. So many ano, no? uh, terminologies, no? but bottom line, it's the same TV. Uh, mm-hmm. Nagkakatalo na lang sa size, sa software na kasama or gamit niyang OS. Yeah. And at the same time, the total number of ports plus yung itsura. Yeah. Kasi yung iba, maganda. I, I, yung iba kasi may kasama ng bracket sa likod. Yes. Yung iba naman talagang kailangan mo lang mm-hmm. itayo. Stand lang talaga mm-hmm. siya. And syempre, yung positioning din ng mga ports, importante. Mm-hmm. I mean, for a lot of people, they don't really care about yes. it. Pero... If you are uzi sa mga cabling mo mm-hmm. sa likod ng TV yeah. mo, then that's something that you would like to take a look at before buying your TV. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And um, based dun sa sinabi mo kanina, um, uh, these um, brands are um, switching into making the 8, 8K resolution para sa mga TV nila. And uh, kanina nasabi mo rin, uh, like, TCL and LG na gagawa sila ng 8K uh, but in like a like a bit affordable price um uh, kesa dun sa mga top brands like Samsung and Sony um ang question well, ko lang diyan is a- anong an- anong parang is there a difference nung 8K ni TCL LG ni Samsung and ni Sony pagka parang siguro pag binuksan mo lahat ng mga OLED TV nila na naka 8K resolution ma- makakita kaya tayo ng difference nung ano nung resolution Well actually if you look at the ecosystem the other brands mm-hmm. no is use is also sourcing their panel from the likes of Samsung and LG mm-hmm. eh. depende mm-hmm. sa brand So I think for me not I'm not saying all the models no but some models nagkakatalo na lang sila sa software and sa design. Okay. But what the actual panel itself, syempre, ma- hindi, most of the time, hindi naman ilalabas ni ni Samsung or ni, ano, ni uh, LG, mm. no? Kasi sila yung dalawang major player dyan. Okay. Eh. Uh, hindi naman nila ilalabas yung pinaka-best panel nila sa competitor kagad-kagad. Mm. But, just give them time the other brands na less known or other parang OEM or mm-hmm. other third party manufacturer are also sourcing panels from mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. Tama. Diba? So, for me, it's the same thing. You're, you might be paying for the mm-hmm. brand, for the support, mm-hmm. for, for the quality of software and updates. Mm-hmm. That's what you're paying for when you're buying a more expensive TV. Makes sense. Diba? And I think sabi nga nila, yung ibang TV na mas mura, mas mura nga siya, pero papansin mo ngayon, may ads. <laughs> yeah. Diba? yeah. Yeah. So, yun naman yung kapalit, pero it's up to you. If you would like to have those kinds of ads on your mm-hmm. TV, uh, I don't know if they're monitoring you, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> well, that, sabi nga nila, diba? If you want more privacy, you pay. Yeah, more. of course. Diba? Yan, yan yung isang bagay na hindi nalalaman ng mga tao. Kasi yeah. Once they buy the TV, that's mm-hmm. it. Cheaper the TV, 
uh, we're talking about smart TV yes, here. Yes. Kasi syempre yung mga hindi naman smart TV, mm-hmm. uh, just a regular TV or just a regular monitor. Mm-hmm. Wala naman silang ano eh. Uh, kumbaga, wala namang connectivity, wala namang something that could, you know, yeah. uh, send data out, di ba? Mm-hmm. Kasi yung mga smart TV, some of them even include microphone, mm-hmm. uh, even cameras, yes. di ba? Kasi one of the features that they're putting in is you could use the TV for video conferencing directly mm-hmm. without, you know, opening your laptop. Yeah. So, yun yung mga... TVs na tititigdan mo rin yung mga mm-hmm. brands at the same time yung software na ginagamit. Mm-hmm. So, yun na yung payo natin sa mga viewers natin at listeners natin. Yeah. So, don't don't buy those TV na sobrang mura uh-huh. because most of most of the time may mga niyan. Third party stuff na you don't want. Yes, yes. But for some people, it's just okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're you're getting what you pay mm-hmm. for as I mentioned yeah. earlier. Yeah. Pero, syempre, we talk so much about the TV. Mm-hmm. And CES is not just about television. Of course, diba? madami yan. Uh, uh, CES is not just for like uh, TV, um, ano pa ba, um, like cell phones. Uh, madami. Kung, yeah. kung, kung ano talaga yung yung magi improve talaga sa sa bahay mo, yung gusto mong ilagay. Yun nga, sinabi ko nga sa'yo, these brands are like slowly uh make uh making these people switch to make their homes automated or uh transforming their homes into a smart home tama ka dyan, no and ironically uh some of the tech companies are also you know uh joining CES mm-hmm. uh the legs of Intel and AMD because at the end of the day they already see their products to be you know a part of consumers yes. Uh, products na binibili ng mga tao everywhere. Mm-hmm. So, I think for the past few years, uh, AMD was there to give a keynote for CES, mm-hmm. which is okay. Yeah. AMD is a silicon, uh, I mean, semiconductor company. Mm-hmm. And what does it have to do with ano, uh, consumer? Mm-hmm. Of course, they, they create products that is used by consumer from uh, game console. They, uh, the latest PS5 and Xbox Series X is powered by AMD processor and video card. Correct. Diba? Correct. And of course, they're also powering yung mga laptops and desktop and even other gadgets that we're using. And sabi nga natin, these are already consumer devices, mm-hmm. not just for companies. Diba? Mm-hmm. Unlike before, eh, talagang no sina unang panahon na tat sina una but <laughs> yeah long time ago uh, we're, we're talking about computers ang nakaka-afford lang yan is mga companies so right now it's everybody could could afford a computer yes. most of yep. them diba and uh, this year no uh, we're we're actually excited because AMD is AMD just launched their uh, Ryzen 5000 series for laptops and for me, it's a eh, uh, very important milestone for AMD and the, the entire IT industry. Mm-hmm. Because for the first time after a decade, no, uh, well, it started last year when CES 20, 2019, AMD launched their 4000 series mm-hmm. Ryzen for laptops. Yep. And this year, they launched a 5000 mm-hmm. series. And we all know that AMD is you know, back on the game pagdating sa laptop processors after a decade of, you know, being silent mm-hmm. sa laptop space. Yeah. Diba? Mm-hmm. And of course, to counter, Intel also launched their uh, 11th gen and 12. announced the upcoming 12th gen. 12th gen. Bilis, no? Sobra. I mean, kal- kalalabas lang ng 11th. 11th. Gen pa lang. May 12 na silang ginagawa. <laughs> Yes, and 12 Gen is expected to be out in fourth quarter this year. Oh, diba? Another another holiday treat for for the tech addicts out there. And ang ano dito, uh, kung kakabili mo ng laptop ngayon, parang after few months, may bago na naman. <laughs> Kaya nga diba, last few episodes natin, uh, we tell everyone that 
it doesn't matter kung bago yung laptop mo kasi after few months, may bago na naman. Exactly. You would end up just spending yep. more. <laughs> diba? And performance-wise, yes, the newer one would be faster a little. Mm-hmm. 20%, 30%. Yeah. But if you, if you use it on a daily basis, parang unless you're doing number crunching, mm-hmm. but if you're just doing Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or even watching Netflix or doing Facebook on your mm-hmm. laptop, walang difference masyado. Hindi mo masyado mm-hmm. mag-feel. Diba? Mm-hmm. Pero, actually, mafe-feel mo, mafe mo lang konti because the battery life of the newer laptops are better. Yun lang. Diba? Mm-hmm. So, parang dati, diba, when we buy a laptop, ang average hours natin, 2 hours. 2 hours and then you need to switch yes. it. Yes. And now we're seeing uh, AMD claiming to have 17 hours of battery life. Mm-hmm. Uh, other laptops are even claiming more than 20 hours. Yes. So, ang layo na ng difference, Sobra. no? Uh, when it comes to power efficiency. Mm-hmm. So, yun yung isa sa mga pinagmamalaki ng ating mga semiconductor company. They're, they were able to actually optimize mm-hmm. yung mga processors na ginagamit ng mga computer natin, the brain itself of the computer, exactly. to consume less energy but do more. Yes. And that's what they're telling us every year sa CES. But this year is, for me, it's a... Uh, Kumbaga, a good, a really good year for AMD. Mm-hmm. And knowing the fact na wala pang pantapat si Intel, ah, mm-hmm. de ba? Yes. And kung mapapansin mo din, uh, during the CES 2021, Lenovo launched a lot of AMD-powered laptops, even Asus. Oo, oh, madami. Halos, pa, yun yung, yun yung, ano eh, yun yung bago, Hindi naman totally bago. We started to feel it last year, no? When uh, AMD launched the 4000 series. Mm-hmm. Uh, we saw gaming laptops na maninipis uh, with a combination ng AMD and NVIDIA. Yeah. Diba? Yep. And, pero last year kasi, uh, due to some bottlenecks or incompatibilities, mm-hmm. uh, we saw yung mga top Ryzen na laptops, mm-hmm. some of them are just paired with NVIDIA 2060. Yeah. Not because they don't want to put in 2080 that mm-hmm. time. It's because hindi lang talaga siya compatible or may bottleneck. So, this time, mm-hmm. those were gone. So, we're actually seeing uh, laptops, no? Uh, the, the best of AMD laptops, 5000 series, Paired with the fastest NVIDIA 3080 or 3090. Mm-hmm. Both Lenovo and AMD. Okay. Eh? Uh, and ang nakakagulat doon is that their major brands, no, yung lineup nila or series ng laptop nila, na formerly more on Intel, mm-hmm. eh ngayon, puro AMD na yung gamit. Wow. Grabe. Grabe yung mga to. <laughs> yes. And that's that's one of the biggest change, no? Uh, when when we talk about CES. Yeah. Well, before I forgot, last year, uh, Dell even, ano eh, uh, showcase yung, uh, yung PC na parang switch. Remember yes, that? Yes. Um, the prototype. <laughs> yes. The prototype. But I think, this year, we didn't see that. Mm-hmm. So, um, feeling ko medyo seryoso na talaga silang uh, to make that prototype into a reality maybe eh, next year or in the next two years may kita na natin siya yeah but i think i saw some uh, demo no uh, on ces this year uh, some of lesser known company are trying to build those type of form factor na computer mm-hmm. but of course we're not yet seeing it on the massive scale. Yes. No? Uh, I don't know if it is if they're going to be launched, but it's a good thing to have that kind of mm-hmm. gaming. I don't know how do you call it. Is it a tablet? Is it a console or is it a PC? Mm-hmm. Diba? Because when you talk about gaming PC, you're talking about laptops form factor. Na malaki yung video card. Yes, yes. Right? Pero kasi for me, if um katulad nung ano um last year ah tamaba was it last year nung um, 
ni-release ni ano, pinakita ni Del yung kanilang um, concept na UFO handheld uh, gaming PC. Was that last year? Yeah. Ayun. That was last year. Um feeling ko naman uh, for for that uh, size of a screen, um I don't think you need a uh, higher GPU kasi nga alit lang na screen eh. So, di ba guys ano, ang ganda na ng graphics niya doon eh unless uh ikakabit mo siya sa malaking LCD para i-blow up mo lang yung um gaming experience mo. Doon lang magkakatalo doon. Pero I think uh that might be the old school way of doing things, no? Mm-hmm. Kasi, for example, if if you play the, the games like Cyberpunk, sobrang bigat ng requirement yes. eh, to, to play it smoothly, mm-hmm. di ba? Mm-hmm. And the good thing about yung mga bagong laptop na release ngayon from Lenovo and Asus and even mm-hmm. Dell, they're, all of them are actually using the 30, uh, 3000 series ng NVIDIA. Okay. Right? Okay. Actually, during the CES 2021, NVIDIA also announced the availability of uh, notebooks that are using 3060, which is the cheapest version mm-hmm, mm-hmm. of the 3000 series. And that's a good thing, no? Kasi we'll, we'll be starting to see yung mga laptops na mas mababa yung presyo. Okay. And yet, the video card will be powerful enough. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe 3060 would be able to play Cyberpunk at least at the medium uh, yeah, level. Kakayanin na. Quality. Kakayanin na niya. Kakayanin na. Kasi at the end of the day, yung uh, sabi nga nila sa presentation nila, uh, if you look at the chart, mm-hmm. no, yung difference ng 3060 and 2060, medyo dikit yes. pa eh. Pero if you look at the 1060, sobrang layo Sobra. na. So I think this is the time, no? Uh, we could put those 1060 to, you know, I mean, we need to retire them already. <laughs> yeah. Especially if you're a gamer. Well, sorry, but you spend a lot of money on that, but it's about time. Uh, if you don't have that big budget, you could go for 2060, uh, which is the last mm-hmm. gen. Uh, if you have more mm-hmm. money, and you could spend on the 30, uh, 3000 mm-hmm. series. Tama naman. Pero what excites me no, this CES 2021, uh, is yung ibang product ni ASUS sobrang okay eh. Uh, one of the things that catch my attention is yung uh, Flow 13. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Flow 13. Grabe. <laughs> um, isipin mo. It's, it's, it's just a uh, 13-inch notebook with a like powerful uh, GPU. Tapos, Kung gusto mo pang palakasin, meron siyang external additional GPU para palakasin pa yung built-in dun sa 13-inch laptop na yun. Yes. So, I think for, for the benefit of our listeners and viewers, no, before kasi, when you have a laptop and it's an Intel mm-hmm. uh, pa, Intel processor-powered laptop, mm-hmm. you are able to use Thunderbolt. Yes. Diba? Thunderbolt 2 insert ay uh, tinatawag natin eGPU mm-hmm. or external GPU. Mm-hmm. So meron mga nabibiling case na external yeah. doon mo sinasaksak yung GPU mm-hmm. na mas malakas mm-hmm. tapos nakakabit siya via Thunderbolt. Yes. And that's exclusive to Intel, oh. okay? Ngayon, for the first time, what AMD did since yung Thunderbolt 4 is exclusive pa rin to Intel, mm-hmm. 'di ba? They created a special port. Oh. Pero USB pa rin, I think, yung standard. Yes, USB pa rin. So, what happened now is the Flow 13 is actually running on the latest AMD processor, the 5000 series, no? the fastest one. Wow. So, we're, we're expecting a good battery life. Yeah. And not to mention, I think, kasa built-in yung Radeon graphics, eh. Diba? Serioso. <laughs> Yes. So, the laptop alone, that's 13 inch, sobrang portable, sobrang liit, sobrang mm-hmm. gaan. Mm-hmm. You won't... I mean, it's not... The size of the screen is not really for good for uh, gaming. It's a small uh-huh. one. But, imagine, if you're going out a lot, di ba? Uh-huh. And you expect that to plug it to your monitor or TV mm-hmm. at home, especially if you have an 8K monitor, mm-hmm. why not, yeah. di ba? Pwedeng pwede. Uh-huh. 
Kasi when you go out, you have a small form factor that you could bring it anywhere with a long battery mm-hmm. life, a fast processor. Mm-hmm. Well, it's, it's actually the fastest in the industry mm-hmm. when it comes to mobile right now. Yeah. And pag sinaksak mo pa yung eGPU niya, Tapos na usapan. Sobra, tapos na. CCO ang oh, ano, oh. Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, tapos na. Um, de ba? Malalaro mo na yung Cyberpunk uh, game na smooth talaga. Yes. And ang tawag nila doon sa eGPU na yun, no? Kasam, I think you could buy it in package at mm-hmm. uh, It's what they call the ROG XG Mobile. Okay. And it also doubles as your power adapter. So, mm-hmm. yung laptop mo, you don't even need to bring the power mm-hmm. brick. So, yung XG Mobile na yung bit-bit mo, doon na rin nakasasak yung laptop mo. At the same time, siya na rin yung video card na external. Nice, nice, nice. And that's pow- powered by NVIDIA 3080. So, ang bilis. Nice. Imagine mm-hmm. that. And hindi lang yun, ha? To, uh, ang form factor ng Flow 13, para siyang 2-in-1. Pwede mo siyang itupi. Ng 360. Yes. Deba? Mm-hmm. So, ang galeng. And yung ano nga, uh, it's, of course, Gorilla Glass. Okay. Pantone validated. Mm-hmm. Deba? And yung screen ratio niya is 1610. Yun. So, ang laki. Galeng. Malinaw na malinaw. Very, be, oh, malinaw na malinaw. And not to mention, cooling-wise, uh, I think it's not that hot. Okay. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we haven't tried it personally. Yes. No? Uh, hope we got a uh, test mm-hmm. unit as soon as it is available. Yes. But, well, if, you, if you're if you going to compare it with uh, Ryzen 4000, mm-hmm. si Ryzen 4000 kasi, umiinit siya kapag ginagamit for, mo for ano, gaming and rendering. Mm-hmm. Pero if you're just using it for a normal... Uh, uh, typical light workload like browsing or Facebook or just watching Netflix. Hindi siya ganun umiinit. ba? Average is around 40 plus to 50 plus uh, degree Celsius. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pero we'll see about this uh, AMD 5000 series, no? Mm-hmm. Pero uh, isa sa mga gusto ko dito, ano siya? Uh, 100 watts USB Type-C adapter. Yung charging niya, ang bilis. Okay. ba? So, Sobrang ano siya, sobrang uh, light and powerful. Now, aside from that, hindi lang naman ito yung launch ni, ano eh, ni Asus. Yeah. They launch uh, uh, Actually, as, other... Asus um, released or launched like a lot of laptops. I mean, if we could we could do a quick rundown lang dun sa mga laptop, laptops na ni-release nila, syempre from um, consumers who who do work like a simple work like um com- uh, like basic computing ba hanggang sa sa pagiging gamer mo um i think i i could start with the i know the expert book uh, b9 ba um it's it's run in the intel v, v pro platform and sinasabi nila dito is um, merong seamless data security itong laptop na to, yung ex- export book B9. Well, uh, that's the basic requirement mm-hmm. for business uh, grade laptops, mm-hmm. no? Uh, security. Yes. But, aside from that uh, business class laptop na nilang mm-hmm. sila, they also launched the Zenbook, di ba? Yung upgraded version ng Zenbook Duo 15. Oh, so uh, That's the one with <laughs> double screen. Na 40. Oh my god. Yeah. So very ano siya. <laughs> Sobrang ganda talaga nung ano. Actually <laughs> Well, so maganda talaga siya. And right now it's going to be powered by Nvidia 3000 series na video card. The fastest one. Well, um So ima- just, imagine just not you get reforce in 4K. Um sabihin ko lang, um the, the ZenBook Pro Duo 15O LED is run by an i9, Intel i9 8-core processor. And then, the video card is a GeForce RTX 3070. <laughs> yes. 
Pero right now, no, the Zenbook Duo 14, meron ng 14 inch, Yes, no? meron siya. Ah, uh, 11 gen naman yung gamit niya. i7 processor, 11 gen i7 and, processor. And it's running sa Yes. Uh, Intel Iris XE graphics. Yep. And pero that's a good thing, yeah, no? Yeah, I mean the 15, 'di ba? Bukod pa dun sa 15 na main screen niya na 15.6 to be exact, uh, that that has a 4K ultra high definition OLED na touch screen. Touch screen siya, guys, touch screen. Yung secondary screen niya is a 14 inch na 4K din yung secondary screen sa baba. Sipin mo secondary screen na 4K. I mean, for me, sobrang ganda niya kasi if eh, nagbi-video editing ako and parang na and dami may panel may extension ka na ng screen para dun mo il adjust yung kung ano man yung dapat mo adjust sa mga ine-edit mo like videos or photos di ba awa ko basta ang ganda <laughs> tama ka dyan, no actually hindi lang siya for mga video editors kung ikaw nag-streaming ka din ng game mo and the second monitor mm-hmm. i mean the screen could actually act as your OBS screen mm-hmm. di ba or yung streaming app mo nandoon. So, you would be able to see what's happening around you. Yes, yes. Nag-stream pa ba yung game mo or Tama. not? So, you don't even need a... Ex- well, you don't need a secondary monitor if you are outside. That's a good mm-hmm, thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tama yun. And of course, aside from that, no? Uh, aside from the dual screen, uh, we also... Few weeks back, di ba? Uh, the Vivo Book series na 11 gen Evo ano rin, platform the, the Vivo uh, Book we had that unit no on yeah that's that's yeah, 14 S14. I mean I, uh... yep actually last year pa siya mm-hmm. last year mm-hmm. pa siya uh, naging available so it's not really part of CES but something mm-hmm. new uh na I think the price is just okay yes. uh it's at around 50,000 mm-hmm. pesos it's 11 gen. yes Na i5 with 8 gig of RAM, SSD mm-hmm. 512 mm-hmm. gig, and it's powered by the Iris XE graphics. So, yep. sabi nila, good for Dota. Okay na siya. <laughs> uh, in fairness to Intel. Yes, and. Siyempre, one of the best game in the Philippines, Dota, Dota pa rin. Dota pa rin. No? Uh-huh. And to add, that Vivo, and of course, that Vivo Book add, S14 is just 1.3 kilograms. And that's a good thing, no? Actually, ang maganda yung pagaan ng pagaan, eh. Diba? Oo, oh, oh, pagaan ng pagaan. Palakas ng palakas. Ito, pagaan ng pagaan. <laughs> yes. And, who knows? Baka in the future, kasing nipis na ng papel yan. Oh. Yeah. Parang imposible naman. But... Oh, well, uh, imposible talaga. Pero, with with the technology happening, uh, I think, in, magiging posible yan in the near future. Or baka hindi na laptop yung tinitignan natin dyan, di ba? <laughs> we're, we're already looking at a different form factor. Ba nga ano na eh. Uh, but of course. Um, what do you call this? Um, uh, ano ba tawag dito? Parang hologram na siguro yung mangyayari ngayon eh. <laughs> Pwede. Actually, we're we, we already seeing a holographic keyboard and holographic mm-hmm. uh, yeah. di ba? monitor, those things out Yeah for the past few years but they are not yet available as a consumer product na widely available. Yes. Who knows, by the next few years. Oh naman. Pero aside from that, uh meron din din si Asus no na Chromebook, ba? Powered by 11 Gen yes. for i7, It's no? the Chromebook CX9. And, uh, yes. And uh just for the ano, knowledge of mga viewers mm-hmm. natin, uh itong Chromebook na to, this of course it's running Chrome OS, mm-hmm. it's not Windows yes. and usually uh, if you are a Google Google workspace power user mm-hmm. and just doing browsing mm-hmm. uh, you you would be able to use this mm-hmm. especially if you're always connected yeah but for the rest hindi ko pa rin recommend kasi nga the uh, applications are limited yeah I mean, not really mm-hmm. limited per se but we're talking about uh, applications that you are actually using yes. you know, for your daily yes, work. Yes. Are most of them are not available on Chrome mm-hmm. OS. Diba? Mm-hmm. Pero I think yung Android apps yata pwede na tumakbo sa Chrome OS ngayon. Pwede eh. na siguro. And to add, yeah. to add dun sa Chromebook na sinabi mo, they also have the Chrome 
Chromebook Flip, the CX5, which uh, which has an optional stylus na pwede mong gamitin for for designing or illustration and uh, it also has a cloud gaming experience and it also supports Google Stadia. Tama ka dyan. Pero isa pa sa pinaka-importanting ano siguro ni launch ni Asus, no? Siyempre, yung monitor pa din. For me. Monitor. <laughs> yeah. I, I love their uh, new Asus monitor, no? Mm-hmm. Especially the 32-inch one with 4K mm-hmm. I, uh, UHD IPS panel, di ba? 100% sRGB. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think that's the first ano, HDMI 2.1 monitor mm-hmm. na... I think this is the one with 140 hertz ba? I am not sure. It's no 4K. I am not sure kasi kung sinabi mo kanina yung sRGB, tama ba? Yeah. Ah, uh, yun. Ah, uh, meron yung yung screen na yun, uh, meron siyang pinaliit na screen which is from Asus din. Um that's there ano, uh, etong etong laptop na to is bagay sa mga artist talaga which is the the pro art na uh, laptop. Yes, that's a yeah. pro art display. Yep. But there's an, a, another monitor for ano uh, game gamer. Oh, right? ano man. Just launched yeah. on uh, CES 2021. Yes. Eh, I think that's that's what uh, I'm mentioning mm-hmm, earlier. Mm-hmm. Pero aside from monitors, no? Ako gusto kong bilhin tong susunod na sasabihin ano ko. Yun? Etong Zenbeam, yung L1 projector nila, Zenbeam. Zenbeam. Okay, okay. Ito yung L yeah. Ito yung projector with ano, Harman Kardon speaker. Of course, uh again, i-add ko lang um the VivoBook S14, yun din yung um speaker niya, Harman Kardon which is uh one of the uh, known brand brands when it comes to ano, audio. Yes, tama yun, no. And so much more, no. Actually, uh, before natin makalimutan, mm-hmm. from the ROG brand, Asus also launched a uh, keyboard and mouse. Yes, um, ang pinakagusto ko is the ROG Claymore, which is um, detachable kasi yung, yung numpad niya, tsaka yung restress niya. So, if gusto mo talaga na sim- simpleng keyboard lang talaga, so, pwede mong tanggalin yung numpad, pwede mong tanggalin yung restress. Pero, if you want to to play comfortably, uh, ikabit mo yung restress restress niya which is a uh, magnetic siya. Mhm. Yun. Well, that's very ano no, useful no. Kasi for some people, uh kung gagawin mo yung keyboard mo mm-hmm. outside, ayaw mo nang masyadong malaki. Yes. So the good thing about that keyboard is detachable nga yung mm-hmm. numpad no. Mm-hmm. But kasi at the end of the day, gamers doesn't need numpad eh most of, of the time. Of course. <laughs> De ba? Usually, ang mga gumagamit ng numpad, mga accountants eh. Kasi they really play with numbers. Yes. Ayun. Uh, the mouse is also good, mm-hmm. ah, by the way. Mm-hmm. The Gladius ba yun? The 3? Yes. The ROG Gladius 3. Um, which is a uh, wireless mouse then. Uh, going back to the Claymore, it's uh, also a wireless 2.43 na keyboard. Hmm. Ayan. So, when you're actually buying keyboard, no? Uh, and even mouse, laging question sa atin, okay ba yung wireless o wired? Uh, if you're gonna play, lalo na kung talagang uh, pro gamer ka, uh, well, yung mga pro gamer, mas preferred nila lahat may wire. As in, wired keyboard, wired mouse. Kasi nga, pag wired yung ginamit mo, literal, walang walang delay. Walang delay talaga. Walang Diba? Lag. Walang, walang lag. Delay. Oh. If meron namang wireless, um, especially Bluetooth or yung keyboard mo may kasama siyang receiver, well, that's still wireless. Siguro may like a millisecond uh, lag. Kahit, syempre, uh, syempre sabihin talaga nila na wala. Pero, meron talaga yan eh. Pero ang mga kapagsabi niyan is yung mga like pro gamers talaga. Pero if you're just a casual gamer, Hindi mo naman mapapansin na talaga yun eh. Tama ka dyan, no? Well, at the end of the day, ang question lang naman is, are you that serious enough <laughs> to play those games? Yes, yes, diba? Diba? 
most of us kasi casual gamer yep. so your mouse works diba yung iba nga nakakapaglaro ng mm-hmm. mga games mm-hmm. without those fancy and high tech mouse and keyboard yes yes uh, just to set an example diba sino ba tong team na nagpunta sa the international sila TNC mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. diba I think 2016 ba yun mm-hmm. when they played mm-hmm. naka A4 tech lang sila yeah yeah <laughs> I mean that's that's really am- that's really amazing kasi I mean the competitors are using you know some of the world's best mm-hmm. mouse mm-hmm. higher DPI diba when you talk about the gaming peripheral diba they always claim oh higher DPI is required yes. especially if you're well siguro if you're more into ano uh, FPS tama yeah Malaki yung impact talaga. Tama, tama. Even though I'm not saying hindi important siya sa mga MOBA type mm-hmm. no or other type of game. Uh-huh. But the precision or the response time required for FPS is higher. Yes, yes. Than esports title, mm-hmm. di ba? Tama. Even though important din naman. Uh, lahat naman yung importante. Yes. Especially if you're competing, yes, that's very important. But if you're just playing at home, mm-hmm. playing for, I mean, casually, mm-hmm. you don't need the so so high end it's well technically it's leisure yeah. it's nice to yeah. have <laughs> diba tama naman kumbaga kung you have, if you have the money to burn why not it's a uh, good ano good tech yeah, yeah. tama but, yeah. but at the end of the day hindi ka naman gagaling kung magaling maganda yung mouse mo yeah katulad nga ng sinabi mo yung team na pinadala dun sa isang esport competition or using the A4 tech the A4 tech brand eh nakakalaban naman sila. So, di ba ga, uh, yung sinasabi ng iba, parang wala dyan sa ginagamit mo, nasa skill daw talaga yon. <laughs> Tama ka dyan. Pero syempre, pag yung mouse mo naman, eh, hindi na nag-respond sa'yo or sa kalumaan minsan, either hindi na nag-click ng ano, mm. tama. Mm. And it's about time for you to replace your mouse. Of course. Pero for me, ah, uh, well, Just to share my experience, no? Kasi when we talk about na masisa na pag-usapan na rin naman natin. Mm-hmm. Uh, at the very least, I'm getting the mid, mid the mid range, no? Yung mga mouse na mid range. Mm-hmm. At least, mga 4,000 DPI mm-hmm. above. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not really inclined to buy the highest available. Like, we have the Logitech 25,000 DPI, no? It's a good thing to have, but yeah. uh, I don't think it's worth mm-hmm. it for me. Kasi hindi naman ako sobrang... <laughs> hardcore gamer. Uh-huh. And, of course, the price kasi, at the end of the day, mouse has a lifespan. A few course. thousands or million clicks, di ba? Oh, um, masisira, masisira din masisira naman pa rin yan. So, <laughs> you still need to replace it eventually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't yeah. really recommend to, ano, to buy the most expensive mouse and keyboard unless mm. you're really into it. Mm. Ayan. Yeah. So, <laughs> Ano pa ba nangyari sa CES? Dami, no? Sobrang um, dami. We started from TV, yeah. ref, mm-hmm. uh, we talk about mga projector, laptops, processors. Processors, dami pa nangyari, video but... cards. Yeah, sobrang, sobrang dami. And um, I would like to to go back lang dun sa sa laptops na nirelease ni Asus. Uh, one, one laptop that also caught my eyes is the Asus BR1100. Alam mo kung bakit? Ano ba yun? Ano yari? Ano, ano meron? Kasi yun? yung laptop na to has a drop proof up to 120 centimeters. And yun yung pinagma- wow. pinagmamalaki nila na child conscious protection design. Kasi nga, the laptop, the laptop itself, meron siyang rubber guard palibot. So yun nga, kaya kaya niya yung 120 centimeter drop and uh, oh. ano rin siya um, what do you call this I'm not I'm not saying splash proof na talaga splash ng water siguro yung parang water resistant lang talaga siya na ako nyare um, sure bata di ba minsan uh, especially mga grade one grade two grade three sure uso ang online school ngayon and For me, perfect yung laptop na yun. Kasi nga, syempre, habang nag online class, um, bibigyan ng snacks ng mommy or nung kasama nila sa bayong yaya. Syempre, di ba, hindi mo may iwasan na 
ma- masasagi nila yung baso so matatapon yung liquid uh, built yung Asus BR1100 for for that and that laptop is upgradable up to 1 terabyte SSD so sa dami ng nilabas ni Asus na laptop like for business for games for designers isa rin kasi isa, isa ito sa mga nakakuha ng attention ko na wow merong ginawang laptop si Asus na perfect na gamitin ng mga bata. Which is actually good, no? Uh, pero syempre, guys, uh, even though medyo mas rugged tong ano, tong mm-hmm. BR1100, mm-hmm. uh, it's, the processor is not that fast. Yes, yes. It's just really for, uh, siguro basic Word, Excel, PowerPoint, browsing, mm-hmm. and mga video conferencing like Zoom, pwede. Yeah. Pero you don't expect this for gaming, you don't expect this for Photoshop and other yes. heavy, ano, yes. uh, workload. Yep. And, well, if the price is right, di ba? And it's mm-hmm. very mm-hmm. matibay naman. So, yeah. why not? Uh, I think this, it, ano to eh, parang pwedeng pantapat sa Chromebook na mas matibay. Yes, yes. Sigurin mo, sala. Di ba? <laughs> Even though, Okay. Hindi ko lang sure kung how much would this cost here mm-hmm. in the Philippines, no? Yeah, yeah. But uh for me it's it could be a Chromebook competitor. Pero pero it's syempre it's running Windows, so mas marami kang mm-hmm. magagawa. Ayun. Yep. So ayan guys, mm-hmm. ang dami pa nating uh, mga products na nakita sa CES 2021. Yes. And of course, in the next few weeks and months, mm-hmm. no, as they come out sa market, mm-hmm. of course, i-ano i- natin yan, i-review natin yan, i-discuss natin yan sa, sa ating mga future episodes, di ba? Yes, Partner. yes, tama yun. Um, yes. Uh, you, ju- you guys just um, like uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, and our other social media accounts um, para maging updated lang kayo sa mga latest na, na texts and um, latest na review unboxing reviews sa mga tech related stuff Tama ka diyan partner mm. at syempre ang ang ginagawa namin dito, naman natin dito sa Tech and Ed lagi tayong updated mm-hmm. lagi tayong tayo na gumagawa ng research de ba yes. para sa inyong yep. lahat para hindi na kayo mahirapan Tama. ano bang dapat kong bilhin uh-huh. ano ba dapat kong gawin and of course open din tayo no kung meron kayong mga katanungan mm-hmm. feel free to uh, reach out to us yeah. by texting us sa 0915 7555510 mm-hmm. okay ana man mag-email kayo sa techned@hubnab.com mm-hmm. yes ayan say so of course isang oras na naman tayo again no yeah. bilis ng oras ang bilis ang bilis natin gustong pag-usapan yes um so parang dami kasi nangyari sa CES i mean if pag-uusapan natin lahat, siguro it would uh, take us three days to to discuss kung ano man yung mga bagong text na uh, in-announce nung CES. Yeah, I think we covered majority of the ano, ano, uh, highlights. Mm-hmm. Uh, and sabi nga natin, hindi naman lahat ng yon eh, darating dito sa Philippines yeah. or at the same time, magiging practical for us to buy yes. it. Most of them would be a lot of a lot expensive, mm-hmm. uh, but of course those are the latest and the greatest technology that we have in the market right now. Correct. And of course it depends on the use case naman mm-hmm. then kung kailangan mo ba siya o hindi. Yeah. But of course, uh, it's a good thing na we know that the brands or the companies are actually doing something mm-hmm. No? Mm-hmm. in spite of the pandemic. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, sure. Bago tayo magtapos today, pasalamatan naman natin yung mga nanood at nakinig sa atin no? sa Spotify, mm-hmm. uh, sa Radio Wiz, uh-huh. sa YouTube, and other uh, podcast platform. Yes, so, yes. yes, available na po tayo sa mga, even Google Podcast. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, so you could literally listen to us anywhere you are. Yes, guys. Uh, we're expanding uh, para... Uh, kami, mag, parang kami mag adjust na sa inyo. If wala kayo sa computer, you can listen to us. Diba? 
Pag nasa sasakyan kayo, nasa labas kayo, you could listen to us via Spotify or Google Podcast. Diba? Yes. Siyempre, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel kasi doon yung kami nakikita yung kagwapuhan namin ni Cyrus. <laughs> yeah. yeah, oo naman. Ganun talaga. <laughs> so, ayan guys. Uh, of course, gusto rin nating pasalamatan ang uh, ating mga friends sa Radio Yes, Waves thank you Radio Waves. Yeah. Ano, ano? Ah, They're very supportive to us. Yeah, salamat. Lagi. Salamat talaga sa inyo. And, and, and in fairness, ah, dumadami yung listeners natin sa Radio Week. Uy, salamat. Week, uh, week over week. Salamat sa salamat inyo. Salamat sa inyo. Uh, we're very touched, no? And uh, of course, gagalingan pa namin at uh, dalawakan pa namin ang aming coverage of tech anywhere you are. Yes, correct yeah. naman yun. <laughs> so, guys... Hope to see you again next week. Once again, this is Edison Gotan. And this is Iris Sofina. This is Tech and Ed Tech Talks. See you again, guys, next week. Bye-bye. Bye.